Hi everyone, welcome to the Draw with Pixar series. My name is Benjamin Sue. I've been an animator at Pixar for over 10 years now. Some of the movies I've worked on include Inside Out, Onward, and Toy Story 3 and 4. And today, we're going to be drawing Buzz from Toy Story. So I'm doing a cartoony, stylized version of Buzz today. Um, Buzz's upper body, along with his helmet, is basically one large circle. Um, I'm putting a guideline from the helmet to the bottom of the body. This helps me determine the direction his body is facing. I'm splitting the circle in half. So the lower half is the body and the upper half is the, the helmet, the dome of the helmet. Um, so I'm going to draw the control panel in there. And he's got these two um, stripes that come down from both sides. Um, looking at the... Uh, Guideline again to help me figure out where the center line is so I can add um, the top panel part. And he's got one big button on the right side and three smaller oval shaped buttons on the left. And then I'm going to add, darken up those lines a little bit more. I'm going to add a little logo just above the panel and just define the body line just a little bit more. Uh, make sure you always keep your initial lines light until you find the right line and you can always darken it later. Um, I'm creating a little gap at the bottom of the torso to add his lower half later. Um, I'm using the guideline I drew earlier to reference the direction of Buzz's face, adding a quick eye guideline so I can line up his eyes. Um, see, it's darken those eyes a little bit, and I'm going to add the eyebrows in and have the one eyebrow raised slightly. Um, that gives you a little half lidded look and add his iris looking over to his right. Uh, let's put his nose in as well. Yeah. Just to find the head shape a little bit more. His ear is basically a half circle. And his mouth is a triangular shape. I'm adding a line um, for his upper teeth and a little oval shape for the tongue. And then we can shade in his mouth. Darken his eye lines a little bit more and then add the, the swirl on his chin. And then uh, draw the rest of his headgear. And then we can shade that in. Yeah. Um, as we move down to the lower body, his spline is basically a rectangle. Um, split up into three to four sections. And his hip is kind of a half circle shape. Um, the legs, um, we would treat the legs as two long rectangles. Um, I like to draw the little line below um, just to see where his feet's going to be at. And also just to make sure the feet don't go over the page. And then the feet are basically just two half circles. And the knee pads are kind of diamond shapes in the middle of the leg. Also, he's got these fold that just that comes just above his feet. I'm just going to darken up the lines for these shapes first. Darken up the, the little fold there in the feet. Yeah, so he's got another little padding at the bottom of the feet, so we'll just add that line in there. And then draw the shadow under his feet, just to give him a little bit more weight. Yeah. I'm going to quickly draw um, sort of his, his arms in stick figure form. This way it allows me to figure out if the length of each joint is correct. And then basically treat the arms as two rectangular shapes that connect and it tapers towards the hand. And 
base, the hand is basically a square. And um, his elbow and shoulder joints are two round balls that, they, that connect to the rectangles. Add those little joint circles in there. He's got a little logo sticker on his biceps. Um, with this hand um, that's pressed against his hip, um, so we're not going to see his, all the fingers. So we're only going to add just a little few sort of cube shapes for the top of the fingers that we see. Um, same, same idea for the other arm, two connected rectangular shapes. Um, it tapers down towards the hand. Um, the, uh, let's see. Add the circle for the shoulder. A little joint there, and then another circle for the elbow. Square for the finger, adding four of those little squares for the finger. Um, yeah, now that I've finished all the line work, I can go in and do some shading on Buzz. Um, when you're shading, you need to figure out where your light source is. Um, in this case, I want the light source to be coming from the right side of Buzz and just above his head. Um, since his body shape are all very simple, rectangle, circles, and square shapes, it makes adding the shadow a little easier. If you're not sure how to add shadow um, or shading to a shape, um, I would recommend just grabbing something from home, like a baseball for reference, uh, to reference a circular shape, and put it under a lamp to see how the shadow will look. Um, if you want to learn more about um, drawing using basic shapes, uh, a great book to look at is Cartoon Animation by Preston Blair. Um, another great book, it's a little bit more advanced, um, which talks about Disney animation and how hand-drawn animation films are made. Um, it's called The Illusion of Life by Ollie Johnston and Frank Thomas. It also talks about the history of some of the animators that helped make the classic Disney animated movies. Uh, it's a great read. Um, these are two of the great resources that have helped me when I was in school. Um, so you can continue to darken the lines a little bit more if you like. Yeah, just shade in the his helmet there a little bit. Darken his eyes, his mouth. Yeah, um, hope you guys had fun drawing Buzz. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. I hope that was fun. Um, feel free to share your drawings using the hashtag DrawWithPixar. And I hope everyone's keeping safe. And keep drawing. Till next time.